got this nice beautiful piece of purple heart. We're going to be turning a slim line uh, on this. I've baked this purple heart at 300 degrees for 90 minutes. Got that beautiful rich purple color through it. I really like this one. It's got actually grain lines. Usually purple heart doesn't have a whole lot of grain line to it, but this has some darker grain lines that are really, really pretty. Kind of these splotchy dark spots in and amongst the rest of the purple there. Let me see if I can get focus. There you can see those grain lines. Really, really a nice piece. I'm really excited to do this one. We're actually going to be doing a turquoise stone inlay. I'm going to be inlaying some of this turquoise stone. My customer um, wants to have two bands at the top and two bands at the bottom uh, of the blank and then inlaid some of this turquoise stone. So we're going to be doing that today. So stick around. It's going to be fun. I'm going to get this sanded and then uh, I'll have you guys come back when I'm ready to put in the inlay. I'm just going to cut in a couple of grooves using a parting tool. So and I'm going to use this Robert Sorby parting tool that I've got here. I uh, picked this up, I got Woodcraft years ago. Works really well. Has a super thin kerf to it. And it's only about a sixteenth of an inch. So I'm just going to put in a couple of little grooves. It's about the thickness of the blade from the end. I want to put in one groove there. And put one groove there. So there's those two, and we'll do the same over here. So we'll put in one there, and one there. I think I need to make that one just a little deeper. There we go. So I'm going to take a towel here. I'm just going to clean out each of these grooves there we're going to take an empty container here we're just going to place that underneath just like that and we'll work on filling in these grooves I've got just a little eight millimeter drill bit tube here that I'm going to put some of these turquoise bits in I don't want to try and pour them out of this bag I don't feel like it's going to be precise enough of a uh, pour, plus it's flimsy and I don't want to accidentally drop it at any point and have turquoise go everywhere. So we're just going to transfer into that little tube. When we're all done, we just transfer it back. But this will give me a little bit more of a precise little spout in order to apply this exactly where I want it. And because it's rigid, I can hold it a lot easier. Alright, so we're just going to put a drop of glue inside of here. The 
and then we'll fill that in. I feel like that actually worked pretty well. Okay. Press those down a little bit. Okay, we got a bare spot right there. Alright, I've got this ultra thin, I'm just going to put a dot on here, just to kind of get it to fill in all those little areas. Maybe with the activator here. There we go. Let's do that for the other side. Oh no, it fell out with the glue. I have to recut that groove. Try this again. Dot of glue. Dot of thin. Another dot of thin, just a seal it all up. Got a little heavier handed on this end than I did on that end, but that's okay. We'll see how it turns out. So I'm just going to use my Easy Wood Tools uh, Roundover uh, Negative Rake Scraper on this. It's an R2 Negative Rake, and uh, we'll get these smoothed down to the Purple Heart. Go ahead and get these blanks cleaned up with a little bit of denatured alcohol and we'll get a CA finish going on these. There we go. Looking pretty good. Turn our speed down. Coat one side here. And then we'll coat the other side. Hit that with our activator. Put on a little more. Little activator. A little thin. There we have it. I'll get these polished up and then we will get this assembled. All right, we're going to go in and get this purple heart pen put together. This one is looking really, really nice. Really happy with how those that turquoise turned out. Really super slick on there. Looks really cool. We're going to do this in chrome. We we're originally planning on doing it in gunmetal, um, but we're going to be doing a metal mesh stylus on this. And my gunmetal parts just aren't showing up. So my customer said, well, hey, let me see what it's going to look like in chrome. So I laid the parts out. We took a look at it, and it's kind of reminiscent of, like, the Native American turquoise jewelry. You got chrome and the turquoise and, you know, the, the deep purple of the purple heart. Kind of looks like, the, like an antiquing to it. It's really pretty. So we're going to get this put together just like this. He's happy with how it's going to look, and it's going to be a gift anyway, so they will never know. First things first, we're going to get the tip pressed into our 
body here. That looks good. Next, we're going to press in our mechanism. Now, I've got a black line right there that's my concentricity line. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a mark on my tube as to where that line is at. So when I go to line up my upper, I'll know exactly where that is. Just going to take a blue permanent marker here. I'm just going to put a blue line right there. There's my line right there. You can see that there. What I need to do is make sure that this mechanism is set up in the retracted form. So we're going to put our ink in. And we are just going to twist that. There it just went down. Here it's coming back out. So now it's fully out. We'll unthread our ink. And that's how we will put it together is with it fully retracted. So now I need to line up those lines. There it is. Press that together. And as we do this, we'll want to test as we go down to make sure that we don't press this in too far. So we'll go just to the top of the brass first, thread this in, and test it right there. See our ink barely comes out. So we need to press it in a little further. It looks like it's going to go all the way up to that indent, which is typical. That's the typical depth that you'll want to go to is that indent right there. So long as you didn't trim your barrels too short during the trimming process. If you trim your barrels too short in the trimming process, then that'll change the depth at which you need to press in your mechanism. Thread that in and test it. And that's a good distance for your ink to stick out right there. Looks like it's sticking a little further because I'm going to leave that rubber tip on there. But that is perfect right there. Alright, we can retract our ink. We can just leave that in now. Put that on the back there. Now we need to assemble our top. Alright, so now we're going to take our center band, get that out of the way. We're going to take our top portion here. And we've got this little bushing that we're going to press down inside. You can see threads that go down the middle of that. And those threads are what accept our stylus tip right there. So we just need to press that in. In order to do that, we're going to need something flat to press against. But I'm going to get it started with my tool here first. Just kind of get it centered in there and then we'll bring in a flat piece in order to finish it off. So that went in fully but you can see there's still just a little bit of a lip there sticking out. So then we take just something flat like this pen blank stabilized piece of wood. We'll put that in between like so and then we'll press that together and that will flatten that out fully and doing this sometimes feels like you need a third hand there we go and now that's in there flat we take our stylus top comes with this little tiny brass washer we put that over the threads Try not to drop it because we'll lose it forever. And all that washer does is it just centers up your clip so that it stays centered because that clip has extra space. Let's see if I can get that. See how that bushing sits in there? Just sits right in the middle of the clip. Fits perfectly and gives you just like a spacer between the thread post and the interior of the clip. And then we can just take our pen tube and just thread it on. And 
And then we can decide from here where we want our clip to go. I'm just going to cover up that spot with my clip because it didn't get a whole lot of turquoise in it. I fixed it twice and it still still ended up with a blank spot. So we're just going to cover that with the clip. Tighten down our stylus tip as tight as it'll go. Holding our clip over that spot. And there we have it. So now we can take our lower section. We're going to put our center band onto our lower section. There's our line that we have right there. So now we just need to find our line on the inside of our tube, which is right here. And we just simply line those up, press it together, and there we have it. That is a gorgeous purple heart pen. If I had something darker in the background here, you could actually see there, look, there's some figuring right here in the purple heart. It's really pretty. There you go. You can see it right there. There's that figuring right in the center of the screen here. Really, really pretty. There's that turquoise. Showed up really well. Really a beautiful pen. On to some photos, and then on to my customer.